Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. All right, y'all, I hit the Easter jackpot. I was so surprised and excited when I walked into Dollar Tree last night. Um, actually, I went to the same store twice. I was there in the morning, and they had like a few things, but then I had to go back last night to get Riley a poster board for science class, and oh my gosh, they had all kinds of stuff out, like stuff I have been like waiting for. So, um, I'm so excited to share this stuff with you because I need to start decorating. But, all right, um, so as always, I love to start my hauls with like my most favorite thing. And there's so many cute things, but I guess I'm going to have to say I found these. <laughs> Look how cute these are. I love them. Y'all, this I am shocked at Dollar Tree's, especially the Easter stuff. It has been amazing. These right here, this is seriously like something you would get at Michael's Hobby Lobby Big Lots for a lot more money than $1.25. Look at this one. Look at it, it's adorable. You got the three bunny ears, the three pom-pom tails. So this is like the bright colors, and then this is like the lighter pastel. What? Oh my gosh, I was shocked when I saw these last night. Um, this one right here, I think is my favorite. Riley liked this one, so this is gonna go upstairs in the game room. But, wow, love these. I hope that you can find these. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, these were on my wish list. I found the little mason jars. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to start decorating. All right, so this one is the light purple and it says treats for my peeps. And of course y'all, it has the little chicks on it. But look how cute this is. Okay, so you got that one right there. Perfect, love this. This one is Cottontail's Candy Cafe Jelly Beans. Look at that. And I mentioned that I want to do like a whole like kind of like jelly bean decor this year. I kind of wish it was more like brighter colors because when I think of jelly beans, I think bright colors. But look, so cute. That one. And then I love this one. This one is like perfect for my decor. Bunny bait, fresh carrots. <laughs> I mean, it's perfect. And we seriously... If you cannot find this and you love it, we could so easy recreate this. But look how cute that is. Love this. I love the orange and white gingham carrots. And y'all, if you remember, a few weeks ago, I hauled, um, I think it was like drawer lining. It was like some kind of like sticky liner that Dollar Tree sells like in a row. I found this orange and white. So we could very, very easily recreate this. It's like another little sign or like a bigger picture. You just need to let me know what you want me to do. But love it. And these, um, these are perfect to your tray size. Um, your shelf just kind of sitting around. Honestly, you decorate anywhere you want with this. This would be really cute like on a little tray too and like some flowers and stuff around it. Okay. <laughs> Another thing that I have been on the hunt for, I found the little brown bunny. I love this, and I love him even more than the white one. I have the white one from last year. This little brown one, okay. To me, when I first saw this bunny, it reminds me of the Velveteen Rabbit. If you remember like that story, the book of the Velveteen Rabbit, this, that's what it reminds me of. That or like a, a Peter Rabbit type thing. Look, the little pink ears. I mean, just look at that face. <laughs> so cute, and you can like dress these up. Um, last year, I added little kids bows, like the little hair bows. I put like a little bow up here for the girl. For the boy, I put it like around his neck so it looked like a little pink bow tie. Um, and actually I used, you can use bandanas, taking like little dresses and stuff out of them. I love this one. Okay. Let me show you. I have an idea with this. So I grabbed the Peter Cottontail book. I'm sitting like right in front of the, the window. Um, so this is the little book. 
They also had the purple coloring book, which I already have, but this has so many good pictures inside here. You know, where's the other one that I really liked? Look, there's the mama rabbit with all the babies. I mean, look how cute this would be like, in a kitchen setting. But I have an idea for like a whole little craft of like a Peter Rabbit type thing. So that's why like when I saw this bunny, I had to grab a little book and because I have an idea of doing like a whole video of like stuff like this. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, make sure that you're subscribed. That way you're notified for everything that I post. But I love it. Okay, to kind of go with like the whole rabbit and decorating, I found the new carrots. I love these. It's like a bottle brush Christmas tree. And seriously, that's what it is. They painted it orange and slept on some green. Look how cute. Okay, I'm gonna open this. Yeah. Okay, look right here. Look how cute these are. I love them. This would be so cute to add to any arrangement that you're gonna do. Like any little setup or decor. Okay. Now, if you notice, it's got these like the raffia tied around it. So a friend of mine, she didn't like that. So she took her raffia off and she did twine. So I tried the twine. That's with like a like a twine bow on it. And then I also I did the black and white gingham. So just to kind of give you some different options, cause like here's how it comes, you know? And then this is with the, um, the twine and that's which is a little gingham bow. So it just kind of gives you like, you know, a couple different ideas of how to like dress these up a little bit. I love these. And you know, you get the two back of them. I also was able to find the little moss bunnies. Look at that. They had these last year. So we're gonna open this up. Um, you get two like positions, two styles. You have the little bunny. It's like laying down. So you got this little one, and then you have the one where he's like, like sitting up. But these, y'all, these are so cute. And these are, once again, perfect tear tray size. Um, put these down in a gumball machine or something. I, just, I love all this different stuff that Dollar Tree's given us. And then, oh my goodness, they gave us even more garland. Look at this right here. Look at that. Um, just says garland. So we're going to open this up. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this right there. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this has to be at least four feet. Um, It doesn't say, yeah, it doesn't say how long it is, but I'm gonna say at least four feet. Oh my goodness. Okay, look, you got the black and white gingham or buffalo, gingham or buffalo. You've got beautiful purple, you've got green, you got this real pretty pink color, you got orange, and like this teal color. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now if you love like the farmhouse look, and to kind of go with this right here, look, that orange and that black right there. You don't have to keep this as a garland. You could pop these off and just decorate with these. Make you some tassels, like a beaded tassel with them. I love it. All right, so these are the eggs. Oh, y'all, seriously, I found the black and white, which I love, buffalo chick little rabbits. I'm gonna open this up. And these, I believe, yes. All right, and then, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, here it is. All of them are black. Every single one are black and they all have the little cotton tail. Look at the little like, um, little, <laughs> could they have, little pom-pom, I was gonna say cotton ball. 
the little pom-pom little tails every single one of them has it i y'all love it love this once again you do not have to keep this as a garland pop these little cute rabbits off and just make you a picture with them prop them up somewhere and then they had a combo you got a little bit of everything which is this one and this i love because you get carrots oh, okay it's carrots and rabbits and they're all colorful oh my gosh <laughs> look at that this one like right here they put them like really close together and they're stapled so you could just very easily like kind of like slide that down but i mean look how cute the carrots with the bunny rabbits and honestly i may end up taking this apart because i love Carrots. I'm all about like some carrot decor this year. And all of the carrots, yeah, every carrot is that orange and white gingham. So seriously, look, that right there. Make you a whole little like display of doing something like this. So cute. Okay, I found the cutest little, this little bunny feet. <laughs> It's seriously, it is little bunny feet and you get 10 in here. Y'all, I seriously wish I had these when my kids were little because how cute would these be? Like hopping, like put like little paw prints down to like their Easter baskets. I love that idea. And y'all, I seriously may still do that. Even though my kids are 14 and 17, how cute would that be though for Easter morning? <laughs> but, all right. Yeah, they're felt. Look at that. Oh, so cute. You can craft with these. You can make your wreath and like put this as like the little feet and a little like pom pom for like its tail. You do something like that. You can make a, a, a picture with these. But I just, I love the idea of like, I just, I love the idea of like putting these like leading towards an Easter basket. Uh, so seriously, if you got kids, grandkids, little nieces and nephews or something, and you can find these that is so cute. I, you could actually, if you wanted, you could make you a garland, something with these. You know, I was able to find the carrot ornaments, y'all. I love these so much because you can paint these, stain these, Mod Podge. You can do whatever you want to these little wooden carrots. Um, to little wooden, you know, the ornaments that they have. I love them. And you get eight of these. So once again, this kind of goes with like the whole carrot thing that I'm going for this year. I found some new ribbon. I love this. Look at this green and white, um, like gingham ribbon. Love that right there. I'm gonna open it cause you're getting a glare. Ooh, yes. Look at that right there. Don't oh, focus focusing on me. You see that? Look how pretty this is. I love this like springy green that they used. Love this. Um, you get three yards. So nine feet, three yards, but it's so cute. So I love this one. And then I found this one. Look how springy and cute this is with the little rabbits on it. And this is not a Dollar Tree brand. This is like a vision. Y'all this says IG Design Group of America. Atlanta, Georgia. So, yeah, I don't know what this is from, but you don't get a lot. You only get six feet. Ooh. Oh, but it's wired. <gasps> Seriously, I love wired ribbon. Look at that right there. Look how cute that is. I love it. And look, wired ribbon, you bend it, it stays. See? So I love that you can like twist and bend you can add like a curly look you take it you wrap it like around your fingers and then you pull down and then it stays and you get like that curly cue that's why i love wired ribbon <laughs> okay i grabbed this right here and i don't remember these last year they may have had them but look it's a two pack so you get two for a dollar 25. i just grabbed this they also had like pink and purple i really didn't mind the color but Look at the way it's cut out. That kind of loopy. So I have an idea for this. 
I also grabbed one of these bigger Easter eggs. This is the only one I could find. Um, it was this or a football. So I just kind of grabbed this one right here. But I have a really cute idea. But I have a really cute craft idea using these right here. And if you know me, you probably can figure out what I want to do with it. But this is going to be another little video that we're going to do. So make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> So I was able to find the peeps at my Dollar Trees. I got the pink and the yellow. I love to decorate with these. Now it's not a very good deal. You get four for $1.25, but I love that it's the rabbits. Cause normally they just have like the little chicks or little, yeah, you know, like the little chicks, but I love the bunny rabbits. So cute. And these are so cute in a vase and then add flowers coming out of it. So I love that. Sticking with the candy. I grabbed the little bag of orange carrots. Y'all, these are gonna be so cute in our black gumball machine that we made. So if you saw the St. Patrick's Day where we made the little black gumball machine using Dollar Tree items, these are gonna go inside mine. Look at it. It looks like a little carrot. I love it, and it's chocolate. <laughs> so you can decorate with it and eat it. I grabbed um, two packages because I wasn't sure how many I was going to use. And um, one may be good, but I want to have two just in case. I found the cutest little felt, it's felt craft kit. They had, so I found three different ones. This one right here, it's a little sheep. Look at that. Look what you can make. I love it. So we're going to open this up. Uh, oh, look, each one is individually wrapped. So you just kind of pull all these apart. So it's a cute little project to do with the kids. But I saw this little sheep and I thought like, okay, if you're doing like a religious theme, like a religious um, tear tray or something, how cute would this be to be the lamb? You know, like a little, a little sign, a little picture frame or something and have this be the little lamb. I love it, and I just love that sweet little face. And you get, how many? You get six. Okay, so I got the little lamb. Oh. <laughs> they have the little bunny rabbit. Look how cute the little rabbit is, so we'll open this too. Yeah, I love that they're individually wrapped. Look, so you get all of this right here with the little rabbit. Let's open this up. You don't even need this for the kids. You can use this yourself. <laughs> Look at that sweet little bunny. Um, okay. You get a little. All right. So you get like, you can make this a little boy. Okay. You can make him a little boy. Put it right there. So sweet. I've got a boy and a girl, so I could do two. Um, you could put it like over here to the side. Give her a little bow. They have this little white thing. You could add that. They have, um, okay, here's some little, like cream, little beigey felt. That in the picture they have it on the belly. Which I don't know if I like it on the belly. Yeah, yeah I don't think I like the cheeks. <laughs> I don't think I like it with the belly or the cheeks. I just like that right there. Look how sweet that little bunny is. All right, and you know, I had to get the chicks. <laughs> so let's open this little chick up. All right, I gotta open it completely. All right, the chick comes with all kinds of stuff. So there is just the plain little chick. You get its little beak, you get little feet, you get the little wings. Oh my gosh, you can do a little bow. You can make this a little girl or a little boy. <laughs> Look at that. Look how sweet. Once again, you could do like a little shadow box, like a little, um, one of those little bitty signs from Dollar Tree. Put this in there and then put this like on a tear tray. That's adorable. 
Little chick. All right, sticking with chicks, I grabbed three of the little like wind up chicks that they have these every year. Like they've been carrying these for years. Look how cute, and you can get these anywhere, really. But let's open this up. <laughs> kind of have to adjust it a little bit, kind of fluff it out. But look, look how cute. The little bitty chick, y'all. Hobby Lobby had a really cute, just little, it was basically a stick. It was like a branch and it had three little chicks sitting on it with some daisies and little greenery and some twine. I think it was like $12. So I was waiting for it to go on sale because really, as cute as it is, it wasn't really worth $12. But of course now they all sold out. But I was like, you know what? We can make that. So we can very easily recreate that for just a few dollars and you can make it as cute and then and you can add whatever you want to it. So all you need is some chicks, a stick from the yard, <laughs> some twine and flowers. So if you want, we would do a video of that too. But I mean, just look how cute. That little be little chick. Um, I will probably cut this off. I don't want that little wind up thing. I grabbed one more of the little egg garlands and I got this for Presley. She, um, she just got her first car and she wants to decorate it for every holiday. So I don't know if she wants to put this like over her like rear view mirror. I don't know if she wants to like strand it in her car somehow because I have, I have one or two others of these. So if she wants it, she can have it. But look how cute, this would be in her car. But you could also, okay. So what you can do, untie it so it opens up like this. Yeah, see how big that is? And look how cute that would be, like, draped. So seriously, if she wanted a couple of these, that'd be really cute in her car. <laughs> yeah, you know, 17-year-old girls, that is just so cute. But what you could do, you could take one of these garlands right here. How cute would it be to pop off these little rabbits and tie a rabbit to the end of this right here? So look, you could have a, a tassel so you could make it like an egg tassel. And then how cute. And you could do like a couple. You could put, you know, the little pink one right here, put the blue one at this end, and that would be a really cute little like tassel to loop around your decor. Love that. Or you could do these little carrots, or like they have bunny rabbits, they have they have rabbits, chicks, the carrots, and like the Easter eggs. You do that right there. Or <laughs> if you buy the eggs. Once again, look how cute that would be. Just make you a cute little egg tassel. Love it. Okay, and then I think the last thing for this Easter haul is I found the garland. It's the carrot garland. It's six feet long, but look at these wonderful little carrots with all this little crazy raffia. <laughs> I love it. And I'm gonna show you how it hangs. All right, let's see right here. But even if you don't want this garland, the little carrots are just too cute. And I have not, none of my stores have the little carrots this year. Like the last couple years, they've had the package of just these little carrots and none of my stores have them yet. But you could very easily use these. But look how cute, look. So they hang like this. So it's like a sideways type thing. But I love this, You seriously, you could cut these off here. You could use this like on a mantle or your console. Wrap it around a little coffee bar area, your hutch. These are so cute. And once again, doing this whole, <laughs> doing this whole like Peter Rabbit, Velveteen Rabbit thing I wanna do. Some of these little carrots with it. I, just, I love all of this. I love, y'all, um, I love, I love vintage. I love pastels for Easter. I love the black, white, and the oranges for Easter. And I just love to just kind of mix it all. You know, like the mantle will be more like kind of like rustic farmhouse. Um, my hutch last year was pastels. I had <laughs> like four or five uh, tier trays. They were all something different, you know? So don't be afraid to mix things. You know, even if it's just like different parts of your house. But I mean, I cannot wait to do something. I'm not sure what I want to do, but I want to do something with all of this stuff right here. 
I love it. But okay. All right, so that is it for this Easter haul. Um, and y'all, I still have uh, my Dollar Tree Fridays coming. I found just brand new, like spring decor items. It's um, nothing Easter is gonna be in that video. It's just gonna be all brand new finds. So make sure that you look out for that video too, which will be posted tomorrow. Um, and we just made, y'all, we made a carrot wreath using the wire carrot wreath frame from Dollar Tree. And we used all Dollar Tree supplies on it. So um, I'll post a picture right here and I will also link the video in the very bottom because I love, seriously, I love how it turned out. All right, so that is it. And just make sure if you want to do some of these craft with us, crafts with us, that you're subscribed. And make sure you ring the bell because if not, you'll only be notified for like Dollar Tree hauls. If you also want like the decorating we're going to do for Easter and like all the different like crafts and projects, you have to make sure you ring the bell and click all. But all right, I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.